you can eat. There's some, somebody at the back who will sort it out for you. Oh, okay. But there's a clicker in front of you. Just click it. Yeah. So all of you, ladies and gentlemen, get ready with questions. Um, not all the time we can ask uh, PJ questions. Uh, so I see that they, you always hear them getting asked at the television during a football pundit. Yeah. Uh, Liverpool, nah, it's not too well. Everything will finish top four. <laughs> All yours. Okay, hey, thank you, uh, Richard. Uh, Sounds Jatra. Uh, very good afternoon. I'll try to go as fast as possible. I know a hungry person is an angry person. Um, it's really great to be on stage uh, with my two old friends here, PJ and Sashi. Uh, PJ used to play for Sarawak and uh, Sashi used to play for Singapore. So it's really great to be with two great footballers here, but it would be greater if they play for Pahang. Um, and I'm the only one that is a non-football person, I'm in Bramington, and I would like to share with you about commercialization in sports from probably a sports administrator point of view, from my personal point of view, okay? Um, this is a movie Star Wars. Uh, if you, like me, who like Star Wars, probably I can guess your age category. Yeah? Um, most players today, they feel that sometimes sponsors is like Yoda. Right? Oh. Um, initially, Luke Skywalker find Yoda a bit irritating. Huh? And a bit overbearing as well. Always nagging him, irritating him, pushing him to be a Jedi. Right? So sometimes, sponsors, some players can feel sponsors can be very irritating, can be overbearing sometimes. Okay? But, that why this is so, I think there must be an education process that we need to go through. And, in com and we cannot avoid commercial because there are commercial values in sports. Company acknowledge that sports do provide visibility and exposure and is able to reach to their targeted group of people. Sponsorship does fulfill personal, corporate and national agendas in BM, as a national association, we have our we have our agenda, okay, and so are sponsors. Sometimes the agenda may be conflicting, all right. Sometimes, nevertheless, commercialization commercialization has its advantages, okay. Um, as a strategy, commercialization would requires a business plan that would determine how the product could be reached to the market. So basically. When a company wants to sponsor a team, okay, they will make the bad, they will make use of the team and see how they can utilize the team and provide exposure on their brand. Okay? Thus the company will use, okay, like what I say, at the same time, they will also provide support to the development of the sport. So some some companies, especially in badminton, Maybank is our main partner, alright? Not only they provide uh, sponsorship and partnership, but sometimes they help us in terms of development in the sports. Uh, 100 Plus is another example where they concentrate solely on junior events. So they look at they just look at the junior event. All right. Of course, for a national sport association like BAM, uh, once again I have to thank Richard for giving me opportunity to speak. Because not many people want to listen to National Sport Association. For sports, for BM, our advantage in terms of commercialization is definitely today players are more financially secure. Okay, salary and bonus have increased. Um, I remember when I first joined BM 2007. All right, uh, player salary was like maybe 500 ringgit per month. All right. Today, a top player can earn. Anyway, it's in the paper. <laughs> it's about ten thousand ringgit to fifteen thousand ringgit per month, plus match bonuses. This can be done because of sponsorship coming in and big corporate coming in as our partners. And of course, uh, as National Sport Association, government is also very much uh, a big partner as well. They 
they definitely support us very much. Okay, and then there is a career pathway for sportsmen now. Uh, we start our development program as young as 13 years old. Many do not know, so this is also my way of telling what we have been doing. Uh, we start as young as 13 years old, we select the best players uh, within the country and put them in Bukit Jalil Sports School as young as 13 years old. So they almost train full time as young as 13 years old. And because of this sponsorship, this big corporate coming in, now the 13 year old can see, ah, one day I can earn like Dato Lee Chong Wei. So there is a career pathway. Uh, and parents will also be very much encouraged. If their children is interested in the sports, they will encourage the children to take up badminton. Okay. Uh, and then more development can be implemented. Due to sponsorship, BM has increased the expenditure on development drastically. I remember in year 2007, that's year, uh, 2009, we pumped in about 200,000 ringgit to 14 states. You just imagine 200,000 divided by 14. Not much they can get, right? Um, but today, we can actually pump in 2.5 million ringgit to 14 states. Um, of course, what is enough is never enough. But at least we have increased. Now sports is not just an entertainment, but have gained much commercial recognition. Uh, sports wants to be associated with winning sportsmen. They want to be associated with winning teams. And they are willing to give big monies to good players and good teams. And today, badminton event is no more confined to court only. All right? um, when we organize the Super Series Premier, which is the biggest Super Series, the biggest uh, event in badminton event in Malaysia, and there are only five countries that organize the Premier. Uh, all of you know about All England. All England is a Premier event, so it's Maybank Malaysia Open. So we are actually on par with All England. And during Maybank Malaysia Open, uh, there are so many things that we can do now. Uh, sometimes I feel we are like organizing a wrestling match. You know? We have lightings, the way we introduce the player as they walk into the court. And then we also encourage a lot of uh, companies to come in and set up booths. Uh, we will try to have carnival outside the stadium. And the challenge is to attract more people to come and watch the intern, All right. If there are more people that come, sponsors will be happy. The challenge is not getting a uh, badminton fan, but the challenge is to get non-badminton fan and convert them to badminton fan. So we like to do a lot of family-centered uh, uh, activities outside the stadium, and this can only be done if we have bigger partners to come in and support us. And of course, Maybank Malaysia Open, the prize money has been increased from 200 just USD 200, total prize money 200,000 in 2007. Today, the prize money is USD 550,000. And we expect it will reach 1 million USD within two years. Uh, of course, uh, we are nowhere compared to golf and probably to tennis, but uh, definitely we are moving that direction. So, I used, when, we, when I first started working in Badminton Association of Malaysia, I always says, what am I going to do? I'm dying. But now with sponsors, I'm like a Jedi now. So definitely he has his advantages. But as I mentioned earlier, as National Sport Association, we do have our objective. Our objective is always national objective. We want to win more championship, we want to win the elusive gold champion, we want to win the elusive Olympic gold medal. That has always been our target. So sometimes the disadvantage is when sport is considered only in economic terms and consequently for victory at every cost, it risks, it risks reducing athletes to mere trading material from whom profits are extracted. This is I would like to quote from Pope Francis. 
differing objectives between the sponsor and national association sometimes can be conflicting. All right. Uh, the corporate they want to get as much exposure as possible. Okay. They only look at performance based. Uh, sometimes not all. Okay. Uh, not all the time, and not all. I have to clarify myself. Not all companies they only want result. Okay. Certain decisions made could be due to sponsors. Sponsors pressure to press pressure us to make certain decision. Right? Uh, when we organize event, they want our event to be organized certain way. They want then they say the, this event must be done this way, this way. But it may be conflicting to the national association. National association. Right? TV station could also be determined could determine how an event could be staged. All right? I don't want. The final to be at one o'clock. I want it to be two o'clock. So some because we have sold our TV media, TV rights to them, we probably have to follow sometimes. Okay. There could be change of attitude of players. Could be not all the time. Not all players. Let me clarify. I uh, have to be careful in front of lawyers. But before I, but before I joined BM, I actually was in the education industry. I was a teacher. Although it's not true, but I like to think as a teacher, I'm slightly smarter than lawyers. Uh, so the primary motivator could be money, and not the country. Okay. So with commercialization, national associations are expected to perform. I'm expected to perform. Okay, I must do the best. If not, the corporate will not want to work with us. Okay, we cannot run the national association like a voluntary work anymore. Okay, we have to be professional in our setup. Coaches and players are expected to perform. There's a good side of it and there's a bad side of it, of course. But the good side of it, player will always expected to perform. Sporting environment may have deteriorated, but it also create new heroes. Okay, uh, with bigger money, bigger events can be can be organized and we can create new heroes. Okay. A uh, business circle can boom along with the sports and can induce better economic growth. Like I mentioned just now, Maybank Malaysia Open is just not about the event. Uh, one of our main equipment sponsors, Victor, um, during the entire Maybank Malaysia Open, they actually opened up a booth to sell equipment. And I was told they managed to sell a value of almost 5 million ringgit just that one week. The product that they sold. The game itself can only grow with commercialization. So instead, player and sponsor always fighting, okay? National association always fight with the sponsors because of conflicting ideas and agenda. Sometimes we can think of a way how we can work together. Just like in the Star Wars movie, the surprise was that Liu Skywalker found out that Darth Vader was actually the father. So the sponsor sometimes is like our father, okay? And he supports us, he gives us the partnership, and we must think of a way how we can overcome that conflict and find the, the similar objective and work together and grow together. So thank you very much. Was strong with you. Uh, thank you, thank you. I now present you, uh, Mr. Sasi, our national player of Singapore. Red card box. Okay. Um, thank you, everyone. I know I've always got this. I, I, I don't know why, but the, the last time I was speaking in a conference in uh, in India, I had the same ship as well, just before lunch. So everyone looked at me, uh, you know, in a funny way. So I can see only faces in the crowd looking at me funny. I'll try my best to go as fast as possible with this. Uh, looks like a trend is uh, certainly me speaking in conferences. Uh, 